Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Starting a new custom campaign showcase for Warcraft 3. This is Warcraft 3 Incredibly Spooky Edition, as you can see by this dark and tragic Night Elven Warrior. Uh, this is actually Warcraft 3 alternate created by Zaytanth87. Look, we ate good on Scourge of Lordaeron. We had our fill. It's time to move on to the next thing, which is going to be the, uh, the Undead campaign, right? So we're going to kick that off with, with Zaytanth87's alternate take on that which is we play as Night Elves instead of Undead. When we played the human campaign, we actually played as Undead instead of Humans. So, now we're moving on to Path of the Kaldori instead. Now, you remember at the end of the last video, uh, I'm breaking my own rule when I said, hey, uh, custom campaign difficulty is generally uh, unreliable and inconsistent, so we play from second from the hardest. This is a case where because I played the last campaign on hard, which was the, the human race swap, I will play this on hard to start. And if we hit something that might seem a little out of whack, we can bump it down. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, it's just funny because literally the last video I talked about the difficulty levels and how I generally make my choice, and we're actively breaking that immediately. <laughs> Trudging through the ruins, send me in. The Warden Lord's plague of rebirth has spread through the capital city and into the outskirts of Lordaeron. Shocked and disheartened by the loss of the Lich King, the forces of Lordaeron were scattered by the ravenous Elven warriors. Now Lordaeron is being reclaimed by nature itself, and Prince Arthas has yet to be seen. What trickery is this? Malganus! I don't know how you survived, but Calm I- Calm yourself, Prince Arthas. I am Tychondrius. Like Malganus, I am a king. But I am not your enemy. In truth, I've come to congratulate you. Congratulate me? By killing your own father, and delivering this land to the Sentinels, you have passed your first test. <laughs> the Warden Lord is pleased with your- Enthusiasm. Yes, I've damned everyone and everything I've ever loved in his name. And I still feel no remorse, no shame, no pity. The horn that you carry was forged by the Warden Lord and empowered to morph bodies. Yours was the first one it transformed. Then I'll make do with this one. What is the Warden Lord's will? The druids of Ashenvale must be rallied once again. Many of the druids have been in hiding amongst the populace. Once you've rallied them, I will give you further instructions. We definitely are going to watch the cinematics, because you're hearing these, these AI-generated voice lines for Tychondrius slash Cenarius. Those are really well done. Honestly. The night is my strength. Yeah, I almost feel like you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. That's excellent. Okay, we can use hide. Does he, he doesn't have hide. Arthas does not have hide. So the maps are... I think the terrain is exactly the same, right? But uh, obviously it's going to play substantially different with a different uh, with a different faction. Also, we have Illidan holding Frostmourne, which is cool. So we have a bunch of different models, and the, uh, the audio splicing is actually is really well done. Our master... Kel'Thuzad told us that you would come. Kel'Thuzad? How could he have known it? Be wary. If the townsfolk see you, they'll call the local guards to stop you. Okay. Approach purple druids with Arthas to rescue them. However, use caution. Any undead minions who see you will alert the guards. Of course. Okay, I'm nervous. A sound plan. I mean, they're undead. Like, how bad... How bad could they be? See ya. Okay, we just found another... We found a person. This is one of those maps where it's like... Don't miss any of them. Because then you have to backtrack a bunch. It's not the end of the world, but you don't want to have to do that. Uh, there's a bunch of weird hidden stuff on this map too, and we won't have the ability to break trees, right? I am sanctified. Yeah, they're all you're all sanctified. We get it, okay? Kill him? I'm gonna say we can still kill these ghouls, especially if we body pull. Uh, excuse me? Go ahead. So he has mana burn, which obviously there's nothing here that will be mana burned, but that's okay. 
Once we get him to level 2, his stats will increase. What do we want to get on him? I mean, evasion is good, but we need something to use his mana with, which, I mean, just having an immolation aura would be good this early, perhaps. Evasion also, you know, for the survivability is probably good, too. That's handy. I don't remember what items are where. I mean, I know generally where to look for items, but I don't remember what drops from where. So, we'll, you know, it's still like we're we're reapproaching a, a familiar old campaign. Oh, hello. Well, that's, that's not, oh, it's even invulnerable, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's really handy. Undying Captain. I would prefer not to engage them, but they do have, he, I mean, I could uh, mana burn him, so that's something. We gotta kill these dudes. Having archers instead of ghouls is really nice. Okay, got him. Owl Scout? I mean, yeah, we can't just walk through there. This area, I know, like, if you destroy this, there's something in there, and I might do it. Again, it'll take a really long time, though. Because there's two knights you have to kill. You gotta, like, kite them around, and it's just gonna take a really long time to do. But And I think it's not even really that worth it, but we can we can give it a shot. I say, if that guy's gonna be by himself, we can Justice pull him over here. Of course. Certainly. Justice is Maybe not. He's he's pretty beefy. But that's fine. Level 1 mana burn's gonna do it for us. Is it zap him again? Oh, yeah. Feels like he's doing... Oh, oh. It feels like he's doing good damage, though. I'm, I'm very happy with him. Sir, hello? There he is. I assume these guys maybe have death coil, but we're engaging him away from the ghouls. Good stuff. Oh, good stuff. Mm. Let's see if maybe... Well, never mind. They're going. I'm going to say we can engage those separately. Get back here. They're so tiny. Lesser ghouls. As, cause they, as, if, they could, as if they could get even lesser. Destroy. 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 Of course. I'm here to help. Point the way. The night is my strength. Your move. Get careful. Shall be done. So we'd have to kill these guys, and then there's two abominations plus that guy. We could probably kite them around, but again, I think you have to destroy that. I think it's just like a plus three item, which would get replaced pretty fast. But we're here, and we do have to clear all of this stuff out, too, so I think I'll probably end up just doing it, and I can just do it off-camera. We'll kill these ghouls when they circle around, and then I will just have to be very careful against these abominations. I don't think this drops anything. and I can, again, I can pretty much do it all off-camera. Um, we could also go up to the cemetery. Isn't there a cemetery somewhere where we could get some more units? That must be a little further up, right? I stand for the night. A sound plan. I had hoped we wouldn't pull every single one, but we did. Let's just make sure that we're properly... There we go. Level 2. Immolation. I have to sneeze. I'm going to mute. We good. This is why we have pots. I stand. So if we could pull these abominations just one at a time, and I think the only way to do that appropriately is to body pull. But you gotta do it just right. No, that's both of them. I think we gotta do this a bit janky. Yeah, we pull one. Perfect, perfect. Okay, go ahead. We have pots for this. We have two pots for this that we're not really going to be using for anything else. So, you know what? Again, let me just cut the footage here because this is going to elongate this substantially. Because we also have to destroy the slaughterhouse. Okay, we've done it. Uh, it's one of the horses in there. Drops a ring of protection plus two, which actually is not that bad uh, this early. I think straight armor is not great on, uh, on agility heroes. Generally, you want things that can expand your, um, your stat-based... 
your stat based stats, I guess. Like, and as an agility hero, we're going to be stacking agility, which is going to give us more armor. So, like, a straight armor is not as valuable, or it's it's not as useful in the slot. It'd be like putting a parry apt on a strength hero. Um, again, you can get you can get a better return from getting actual strength items to get that same amount of HP. Plus, you'll get extra regen and damage from actually putting like strength specific items on instead of using a parry apt, for example. Okay, let's scout it out. Is there danger? Um, was that was that everybody down here? Was there anyone else to rescue? There was a guy here that I got just before I started recording, and there was a guy down here. I think that's everybody. Sound plan. Of course. Being able to hide is really handy. I really don't don't go that way. Um, it's really really handy. And I still have my greater healing, which actually I think heals for yeah almost our entire health pool. Certainly. Snag this guy. My strength is yours. Don't chain into that guy, because I don't think we can get away from that one. Certainly. Mercy the Lord. I was kind of hoping that these guys would go inside. A sound plan. These are the ones that are fighting, right? Uh oh. I don't think we're gonna be able to get all these dudes. Of course. Certainly. A sound plan. That's all right. As long as we stay, I mean, they'll they'll go to the spots where we were reported. They won't come directly for us, right? I mean, having Shadow Meld is really handy here. We do the same thing. We basically force this person over there and then just run away. And then we'll wait for these to reset. Because I want to see what's in those crates. And if it's garbage, we just don't bother trying to pick it up. No, stop! Hide. Okay, cool. Gotta be careful with these, uh, with these sentinel ladies. Whatever they are, just they're just archers. We're not at the sentinel phase yet. Pot of greater mana, though. Probably worth trying to snag that up there, so I probably will. Okay, give me some more vision. Again, we're looking- having this scout is really, really handy. Um, this is like just a direct improvement over the original mission. In that, um, like I had mentioned right at the beginning, like, man, there's not much worse on this mission, or even in this campaign, is getting to the end of this map and realizing you, you need one more flippin' person. I prefer not to engage the abominations where possible. There's a dude right there. That's gonna be hard to get to. Not that hard though. Let's just see if we can grab this and run away. They're shadow melted. A sound plan for honor. Uh oh. Certainly. All right, let's get these to leash. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We can run in circles. A sound plan. For honor, of course. It's not. Uh, it's not my first rodeo. Of course. Sir, oh, that was close. He almost trapped me in there. A sound plan. Would you? For honor. Certainly. They're just a confused. Plan. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. It's cool. Man, I kind of regret that one level in immolation. It's just again. I I feel like I you need something for as a honor. demon hunter to spend your mana on when you're fighting for honor. units that don't have mana. Of course. For oh honor. great! Of course, for honor. Point the way. All right, come on down here, ladies. We gotta fight him. Foul knave. So, like in this case, just turn on immolation, or uh, it's not a huge amount of damage, but we got you know we gotta do it. And let's lay some DPS. Uh, you gotta attack him though. Where let's lay some DPS on him. Uh, hopefully, I think that's the one that was patrolling, or it was one of those. Yeah, it's the one that was patrolling. So good. I don't mind that we killed that one. The thing with Immolation Aura is I very frequently tend to leave it on, and that upsets some people. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's, it is it is a blunder, so I, I get it. Um, so to frame it as like it's only a problem because some MFers are like, oh, you know, they get a little, they get a little uppity about it. Like, it's fair. I get it. <laughs> Scout me? Uh, here's the, well, it's not a graveyard. I stand for the night. I'm in luck. The sentinels are here. Show yourselves in the name of the Warden Lord. This is a that's a pretty substantial group of units. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. Archers can use shadow melt to become invisible while standing still? Yep. We uh I think we figured that out. So can our sentries. Okay, let's keep scouting. We're already close to the end here. This is a good this is a good mission one. You can attack gates to destroy them. 
Again, these are the kind of hints that like I feel like don't need to be. <laughs> they don't need to be here anymore. Um, I don't think anyone's playing the race swap version of this campaign having not played, you know, the original. But I don't know, maybe not. You never know. Now, we don't have a way to heal these ladies, so our melee ladies are a bit exposed. Another thing is because Immolation Aura, it's L. I'm not a fan of that hotkey. <laughs> Betrayer of the night. I'll just let them attack the necropolis. For honor. We'll kill them after. Of course. I don't know what's going on with the pathing here. Has a sound plan. For honor. A sound plan. Certainly. Is this an is this a like an invisible plan. wall or no, we can move Certainly. through here. I'm here to help. On your mark. Bandit camp, immolation aura. I it's L, gotta hit L. I mean in general we don't have a we don't have uh a way to heal again. And not having death coil will make the beginnings of these different. Certainly different. I'll take that. Just use that. I think that's valuable. Oh boy, spider ring. Everyone's favorite consumable. We're also all poisoned right now. Boom and boom and boom and boom. I think there's a Sobe mask that drops somewhere in this campaign too, right? That'll be really handy. Though I don't know. Really not that handy, considering the only. I mean, we only need him using Immolate. Mana Burn is really good at higher levels against heroes. Generally, it's the mana cost of that is relatively low. Of course. I stand for the night. How you guys doing against that Necropolis? I hear you're working hard. Is there danger? We'll come over and help you in a moment. Alright, we'll let that person live. You're lucky. You know, this has a much more upbeat feel to it, considering uh, we are... Cle you know, we're we're cleansing the world of the undead as opposed to cleansing the world of the living, right? Feels a little feels a little better, I suppose. Less miserable. There's something going on with the Oh, is it because I still have I have formations on? I uh I have a new PC, so I reinstalled the game. So yeah, we had formations still on, which I I don't prefer. It just makes units act a little wonkier. Good job, guys. It'd be funny if this actually dropped loot and then uh they picked it up. <laughs> and it, what's even more funny is I said it'd be funny if this dropped loot in the first place, implying, why am I doing this at all? Why am I destroying it at all? We don't need to do it. There's nothing in there. My inner min-maxer. I needed that plus two ring of protection that we're probably just going to replace in a mission. Maybe two. Doesn't the next, next mission have a goblin night scope, too? There's a lot of wacky, wacky items in these early campaigns. I'm here to help. I just feel like they put stuff they put stuff down and they're like, "Yeah, you know what? Put a goblin night scope there. See what happens." We did we dare the player to use this. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like you're bullying my allies, so get dusted. We'll just back away. We don't need to engage this group, so just stay away and especially what did I the sleeper has Was he there the whole time? Did I just walk right by that guy? I'm losing it. I think I'm losing it, guys. <laughs> um, where's the area you can like destroy stuff to go behind the trees? That's down here, I think. I stand for the night. I'm I'm loving the scout. Just ha I mean, just having the ability to scout, especially on this map where it's like, oh gosh, I missed one flipping thing. Can't stress enough. Great idea. I'm here to help. Of course. He's here to help. Certainly. Kill and For the maybe kill. I am sanctified. Of course. A sound plan. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal to just engage the I mean, I don't want to engage him with the extra ghouls, but let's go. Let's kill this. Then we'll kill the Abomination, and then just in time to kill the ghouls that are patrolling back towards us. Exactly. L? Heal me? Consumables exist to be consumed. I have to tell myself that. How many do we need to rescue? I think it's 24, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's 24. There's, I think there's a lot you can get all in one place later. Yeah, you better run. I actually feel a little bad killing the horses. It feels a little a little superfluous and unnecessary, you know? We'll just pretend that they're paid actors. Okay, we do have an undead captain down there. Maybe we can body pull the, the ghouls. I learned about body pulling from Grant, and I gotta say, it's actually incredibly useful. Certainly. Of course. For honor. Is there danger? Oh, good. Yes. Ghouls first. Ghouls first. L? Um, maybe? You know what? Maybe this is the campaign that will teach me how to properly use Immolation Aura, you know? See? Look at that. I just turned it off. Yeah, see, there's four right there. We don't want to rescue them, though, until we look all throughout this area. So I'll kill the undead captain. <laughs> Undying captain, excuse me. Then we'll look for any remaining items. Yeah, don't rescue them. And we'll just kill this guy when he comes back. I think I'm going to save the mana. I'm going to save these pots, but I will definitely use them next mission. Nice. Two pots. I guess I could be playing this on the Reforged version. If you play a mission made in Classic on Reforged, because that you can play campaign files now, will it allow you to stack consumables? I assume yes. Actually, no. I think I assume no, which is why I'm asking the question. Just forget it. <laughs> okay, so that one abomination, we don't need to engage. Let's go down this way. Generally, these are the trees that you have to destroy. I'm awake. I'm awake. Certainly. To get items down here. I think. Let's see if there's maybe a different way through, but it looks like no. I have no other way to destroy trees, right? You can't just left click them. And they're not canopy trees, so you can't walk through them. So I guess whatever's down there, we just can't get. I want to say it's a plus three something. Granted, I thought that this ring was a plus three, and it absolutely was not, so don't listen to me. Cool. Um, we're missing some guys. We're missing one guy. I'm, I'm happy with my items. We're going to get a bunch. Like, missions two and three have a ton of weird stuff hidden. I want to say mission four doesn't have anything. Wait, we have a bird that can look for the last guy. Wah -wah -wah. Is there danger or honor? But see what I mean? Look how convenient this is compared to trying to find these MFers. For the night. Certainly. Where am I crazy? Was he down here? Like right at the start? I don't think so. Of course. I also know, I think that the the objective here has me having to find all of them. Certainly. For honor. Which is different than the original where you only had to find, uh, shall be done. I think you had like, you a only had to find all but two or three. Is there danger? I stand for the L? Get that immolation going? Oh yeah. Oh, I hope the sound of this is coming out okay. I, I did some Mapparino earlier today, some Mapparino streaming, and uh, it seemed like the audio on my classic versions, because again, I reinstalled them, uh, was way too high. See, like, can we get those crates in any way? Let's see if we can just walk. Can we destroy the buildings? Of course. Certainly. A sound plan. Yeah, I'm thinking there's just no way for us to get back there, which is okay. I just figured I'd at least try. One shot, one kill. All too easy. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, we're looking for the last person. A sound plan. Of course. We were standing right next to that lady, so it wasn't her. Of course. Ba 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 boo. Oh. I stand for the night. I found him. Was he always this sheep? Is there danger? I'm awake. I'm awake. Cool. I think, uh, yeah, again, I think we had to find all of them. Good stuff. I stand. For I think we found the most valuable item here, which are the pots. And then we found that ring plus two, which is okay. 
Well done, demon hunter. The druids are nearly assembled. Lordaeron lies in ashes. What good are these cultists to us now? They will aid you in due time. For now, you have another task to complete. And what's that? You will go to Anderhal and recover the remains of their former master, the Archdruid Kel'Thuzha. I'm really impressed with the <clears throat> with the voice splicing, and I know Zaytan eighty seven is spearheaded or been part of the group that has spearheaded the the usage of the of the voice of the the AI generated voice. So I think that at its base, it's using the Tychondrius lines, slightly modulated to sound more like Scenarius. But then, anytime there's something contextual, like talking about keepers or sentinels, I think they they are AI-generated, and then they're spliced in, and it fits really, really well. Like, again, if you didn't know, it just sort of sounds like those were the original lines. Really awesome stuff. Um, so, for that reason, I plan on, you know, I'll watch all the interludes and stuff again, too. Alright, Uprooting the Dead next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye